Good morning. Did I hear a cockadoodle doo in there? Who did it? All right, I know. You guys want your food and water. Okay. Well, that's something new. As I was opening the door and walking out, somebody said cockle doodle doo. So, one of our roosters, I think we might have two of them for sure in there at the moment, was making its first big noises, uh, trying to wake everyone up and telling us to come out here and feed them. It's exciting because unless he heard me open that door, I didn't hear it from inside the house, so that's good news. All right, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, today's vlog, we have a big job today. We have a package that just came in the mail that I'm gonna wanna show you guys here. So let's go see that package that came in so that you guys can kinda see uh, what we're gonna be doing for the chickens today. Before we show you that packaging that we got today, what I wanna do is, if you haven't seen our previous vlog, our dog caught a mouse and I was able to find it on the ground, frozen and dead. And it just kinda made me wonder, what is the worst thing that you've ever seen your dog catch? So right now what I want you guys to do is comment below, what is the worst thing that you've seen your dog catch and kill or bring to you, anything like that. Comment below. I'm curious to see what people have found. Obviously a mouse isn't that bad, but that's probably the worst thing that we've had our dog catch so far. But I'm sure there's more coming, so comment below that. All right, so like I said, we had this package come in, and this is what we need to do for the chickens today. Actually, there's a few things, but this is one of them. We got eggs, but it probably wouldn't be very smart to try to eat one of these, or crack them, or anything else you'd do with a normal egg. What? Bailey, it's not food. I think she thinks it's food. Sit. Sit. Good girl. No. Okay, good girl. So these eggs are 100% ceramic eggs that we are gonna put inside their coop today. So this will help them to show where they're supposed to lay their eggs along with other things, which I will go into and detail for you guys once I get outside, so. I just wanted to show you guys what we got and part of what we're gonna do with them today. These fake eggs, there's only two main reasons you really wanna put them inside your nesting boxes for your chickens. Number one, you want them to know where they're gonna lay their eggs. And I think this was maybe the first reason of why this started happening of why people were using these eggs inside their chicken coops to make sure that their chickens knew exactly where to lay their eggs. Which you want it to be in your nesting box so you know exactly where they are so you can grab them and take them easy. Now that leads me to rule number two for why you want to put fake eggs inside your chicken coop. You don't want the chickens pecking and breaking your eggs after they just hatched them. Yeah, I know that you would think that a chicken lays the egg. Why would they peck their own egg and break their own eggs? I don't know but why do we do some of the things that we do, right? So yeah, you wanna make sure you have these in there so that when a chicken goes and tries to peck at it, they're gonna hurt their beak a little bit and realize, oh, that's not a good thing to peck at. And this will help protect your eggs so that the chickens don't crack them themselves. And that is the two really main reasons of why you wanna put fake eggs inside your coop. I have a little helper coming right now and it looks like she's bringing a treat for the chickens, but she's also gonna help me put one egg in each nesting box so that we're ready to go. We could be getting eggs here in the next few weeks, so we wanna make sure that these are ready to go so we don't forget about them, and it'll help make sure that hopefully they lay them inside their nesting box. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Look at the beak! So messy! Even mine is the mine. One thing that we didn't get to do yet to them and which would be a good idea to do when you put your fake eggs inside the coop is to make sure that you just put a little marker on them so that you know which one's which. So when you go to put your hand in there, it's a lot easier instead of just having to grab and feel for them. You could just see, oh, there's my little marker mark on the one egg so that you know not to grab that egg so that when you go to collect your eggs, you know which one's fake, which one's real. So something else that you can do for them. If you guys haven't seen in previous videos that I've been filming, um, we've had a few mice showing up around the coop lately and I think I saw their home which is pretty close to our coop unfortunately. As I stated in the videos it's not like they're predators they're not going to hurt the chickens necessarily in the sense of that where they're going to feel hurt 
but what it could do is cause diseases in your chickens. You don't want that. So I have, I'm gonna get my stapler and pop out some of the old fencing, try to re-put it in so to make sure that it's proof that nothing else is really getting in there that easy. There's a few spots that are weaker than others and it is our job as chicken owners to make sure that they stay protected. So, so I'm gonna get my stapler from in here and try to pop out some old fencing. We have an old coop that the person that we bought it from gave to us that has some of the cloth wiring on it. So I'm gonna pop, try to pop some of those out and just use that. Um, I did buy new cloth wiring, but if we don't need to use that right now, I'd rather not waste it. So I guess I can't open the door unless I undo my hook at the bottom bit. So I got it more secure. I definitely feel safe now that there can't be anything that's just easing its way in there, which is nice. The only problem is, is I realized, I remember we bought, bought this used and some of those wire pieces maybe felt a little loose, but I think they were more bent than loose. And my fear is our Wheaton Terrier Bailey is pushing on this so much when she wants to try to like attack them a little bit play with them, attack them, your choice of words. I think she's starting to pop out some of those staples from it and that's the reason. There was a lot of spots that actually it was so easy just to be pushed open and to go in there. So if a predator wanted to just have a little lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever time of day it might be, they could have easily just went right in there. That was not okay. I stapled it up though, put some new pieces in, double did some of it. Fear now is some of the spots that I put open, I'm gonna have to try to staple more down or get more down because now if Bailey is doing that, I'm afraid she's gonna end up scratching her nose or something against this fencing. But for right now, the chickens are safer, but now I don't think Bailey is. Oh man, it's like you win one way, but you don't win the other. You can hear her crying right now because she probably wants to get there and get the chickens. Two of them we have kind of just hanging out right now. Those chickens are taking their field trip. Uh, what I wanna do now is when I took a look in their coop, I see quite a bit of poop. So I'm gonna put a brand new bed layer of bedding, cover that up, put some fresh bedding sprinkle in there to make sure there's no pneumonia or anything like that going around. You don't have to worry about that as much in winter time than you do in summertime. But I just wanna make sure that it is clean for them. So I'm gonna get that done real quick for them. So this is the coop recuperant that we use uh, to help make sure to maintain the odor, make sure no pneumonia. It makes the bedding last longer. It looks like this is a good brand of it. I looked into it, it doesn't look like these are bad for the chickens, but for some reason, if someone who has an experience with it says that it is bad, please comment below right now, let me know. But I'm gonna put it in there for right now. So that's what happens when you spend money on things. Usually you still wanna use them. So I feel better about the coop. I don't feel like there's gonna be much getting into it, so that's a good thing. And also I'm very excited for those fake eggs to start doing its job and for us to start seeing a fake egg next to a real egg. We're getting closer. So thank you guys again for watching this one. If you haven't already, please hit that red button below and subscribe. Thanks again, see you later on the next vlog. So, as you can see in this video,